what is going on guys it's your boy shadow today it is rc dirt modified practice day got the big block i'm bringing the 12 t of course i'm bringing i probably won't drive that too much because i want to finish dialing in this and i'll be bringing in this because he's got a brand new crawling course and he gave me permission to use it so yeah charging matters here got our ammo can here Make sure everything's all secure. Got my dad's car and his LCG over here with his R1 motor, which he took out because we're we got tuned. We're getting this tuned, so yeah. But we're not here to talk about all that. We are here to talk about the Jeep, the SUX10. So first thing you guys can tell is I added some decals. I added a Nitto sticker and a hood, little hood decal there. But we got more. Don't you worry. So after crawling for a little bit, I realized that the, the rock rails were uh, getting caught on everything. And I mean everything. So what I had to do was I actually had to take those off. And then I realized that the little pegs that hold them on here and the little um, pin pegs, the screw right here like that, were getting caught too. So I took that off. That helped a lot. I finished my links as you guys can see. And then after all that happened, I actually, I kept my gear cover off and I've noticed because this was rubbing on the gear cover and I'm not a huge fan of that. And what I did after that was I ordered some shocks actually. I ordered desert racing shocks. These are, uh, or yeah, racing, I'm stupid. Yeah, racing shocks. And these are 90 millimeter, but they are internal spring shocks. So what that means is, I don't know if I can show you one-handed, but like, yeah, they droop. So if I lift it up, if I'm on a rock like this, it'll like flex for me. Like, I don't know how to convey like that, kind of. So basically, I can go like this, which is decently far. I can go a little bit more, but... I can't do it with my hands. So, yeah. I installed these. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the spring setup just because I don't want to like give away while I'm running because I think it's pretty good. It comes with so many springs. I'm in my bottom row here of um, little organizers under the modify. And yeah, so I did that and I took off the rear bumper. I can put it back on. I should bend this back where it was i'm gonna put this back on as usual and then the front bumper i don't know if i'm gonna buy one or if i'm gonna fix mine because i did make an error building it which i did not realize and it was kind of a stupid mistake so i'm most definitely gonna have to either fix that or buy a new one so yeah but i'm gonna fix this and this is just a mini update because I have some more things coming. I'm going to buy something today at the track, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to order more things for the body performance-wise. The only things I really want to change is I think I want a 35-turn motor. Maybe a Holmes Hobbies, probably, or whatever they have. I want to make this aluminum. This all bar here i want to get new tires and wheels but that'll be coming in september what else well fenders will be coming in september like mid to end of september around the 20th hopefully because yeah i'm gonna I'll hopefully buy them either before that or after that because we go to an event and my hobby shop has a trailer there but he doesn't always have everything that he has a track so hopefully hopefully but yeah that's a good example of what it can do so yeah but new things coming to the front and the back and the sides and all around i don't want to talk too much because i don't want to give it away but i'm going to order something within the next few days and then i'm going to order another thing for the front and it should look pretty cool like i said i'm trying to keep it kind of custom but i did almost everything i can by doing the custom links, the bumpers, this ghetto lift kit. <laughs> yeah. 
We're doing pretty good. We're almost done here. I'm breaking my dad's new motor for him, which is this one. And I can tell you this will be a fast motor. It should be. But we'll see. Well, overall, my my uh, re little review on these shocks is I really like them. It's all about setup. I had to take them apart probably about four or five times to find a good setup because, yeah, I was told to play around with the springs a little bit. And then I went back to one somebody told me, and I actually really enjoyed it. So, yeah, and I really like these. They're like, they're like metal on the inside, but they're like outside plastic coating. So it doesn't really get the oily look on it when you get shock oil on it. So, yeah, pretty cool. I think I'm going to put this rear bumper on, and I'll call it a day, because I think I'm going to do a little crawling with it later. So, yeah, thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. We are on the road to 200, 200 subscribers, and it really helps a small creator like me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.